This is a video by Rich Ben. Today we're going to do a compression test. Now the first thing that I did on this vehicle was I brought up the normal operating temperature. But then I let it cool down because I don't like to take the spark plugs out of a hot engine. So, now we have to, of course, rotate the engine over to check our compression. Now what I'm going to do is use a starter switch. Now, if you don't happen to have a starter switch, well, then you'll have to use the uh, ignition key to turn the engine over. And if you do that, you'll have to disable your ignition system and your fuel system. Now, we're going to remove the spark plugs first. Now, I've got them labeled. Now, make sure there's no dirt around your spark plugs. You don't want that falling into the engine. Now, let's see how tight these plugs are. Great. That's because I tightened them. Okay, that looks good. Actually, they almost like it could be a little bit tighter. Okay, good. It's dry, color looks good. Now that we have the spark plugs out, we want to take the throttle plate here and we want to make sure that it's wide open so we get maximum air being sucked into the engine. Here is our compression gauge we're going to use. Get screw in the flexible hose here now we want to rotate the engine about six to seven compression strokes and then we'll check our reading. Okay, number one's got 225. All right, now we got to check the other three cylinders of this engine. Now I just got done checking the other three cylinders and I got 225, 195, 195 and 225. Number two seemed a little low and I retested it and it was still climbing. These numbers were still climbing when I wrote them, stopped uh, the test. But for this vehicle with 195,000 miles, I'm pretty happy. I mean, I would prefer that number two and number three be closer to number one and number four, but all in all, not too bad on this engine. So, that's all there is to doing a compression test.